Welcome a time bloodthirsty lord by Yunkami Lordy and today we're back on Praetor Hunting Grounds with teaching your mates how to utilize the smart disc as a Praetor pretty much how to smart disc in Praetor Hunting Grounds. We'll also be supplying our tips and tricks for the smart disc and also sensitivity that we utilize for the smart disc as well. And we'll highlight the kit as we go but this will be a fun one nevertheless with this build on screen right now. But before we do get into this video, there's only a small percentage of mates to watch the video that aren't actually subscribed. Leave a like, show support, click the subscribe button to keep up to date. Press that join button to become a member on the channel. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So what a fitting name for this character, How to Disc. Essentially, How to Smart Disc. With that, we have the Elder and Stalker variants. The Elder class is just a great class overall, with the Stalker being the meta specialization within the game, increased damage while at full stamina. So I play for a range and utilize the Smart Disc and get increased damage with that item. The Smart Disc is right here, as you can see. You can use any variant of the Smart Disc, but this is the variant we're using, the Ancient Disc of the Smart Disc. Crace variant looks quite clean, in my opinion. With the Systematic Color Scheme, and then we have the Alpha Sickle Healing Kit, Bear Trap, Wrist Launcher, stuff to help us out overall. The perks that are going to be utilized are Fearless, Impatient, and Downrange. And the most important perk is Downrange, since that's a crucial aspect to the Smart Disc, alongside the Soul Game Variant, to allow for crazy damage output with the Smart Disc overall within your gameplay. And our character's looking quite fine. Look at that customization. It is just too clean. Too clean. How does it exist? I don't know. We make things happen. And this is crazy looking. I love it. It's been terrified to see this in a game with the Smart Disc without a doubt. But now let's try and jump to a match and highlight how to Smart Disc in Praetor Undergrounds. Let's get into it. So we're jumping into the map Overgrowth as the Elder Praetor. Look how clean that looks, man. That customization always looks crisp. I love it. And the like off for this video is 600 likes. Let's get it, mates. Let's get it. And also wrote to 200k subs. And now we're going to teach you how to use the Smart Disc in this game. So the Smart Disc has three charges or three discs they can actually chuck. If they get destroyed by the fire team shooting them, you'll lose it. Or if you've got them staggered in certain like trees, like you actually can't pick them up again. Pretty much if you throw it like here to here and it goes towards that direction there, it'll get stuck when it does touch a surface. You have to go towards it and pick it up. So that's something to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is when you actually press the button, you increase your speed. And if you recall it by canceling it, it'll come back to you. And it does damage initially and also on the way back. The damage initially is a lot more than on the way back, but it still helps with potentially one-shotting enemies with this build. It's crazy. And another thing I want to highlight is that you can actually hit or collateral multiple enemies at the same time. So let's use our target isolation. Hopefully gain some information where these plays may be. Because I didn't actually check, because I was too busy showing that. And also showing our in-game sensitivity. Let's double check that too. So go to your options, go to your uh, keep on mouse. My mouse sensitivity is 0.55 and mouse ADS is 0.75 with inverted flight mouse look. Because you want the inverted uh, mouse look on your actual smart disc. Or essentially when you pull up, by default, when you pull up, it goes down. But if you have that button on, when you pull up, the smart disc goes up. So it just makes it so much easier. And vice versa if you go down. Send this through. Did the damage. Nice. One hit. Came back to me. Recalled it. Go for some damage options here. There you go. Another damage option. I've got someone downed. Let's stagger this towards this section here. Because they know where I'm at. I want to watch them. Jump again. Go for this, because they're going for the revive. Get some hits. Pretty much one-shotting everyone. Is that one shot? Let's go back. Let's double check. Pretty much everyone's nearly dead. So allow them to get the revives. And go for it again. Collateral each one of them. Perfect. Doing as much damage as possible. Down them both. Now, are they all dead? There's one guy alive. One guy. Oh my god, he's nearly dead. He nearly killed himself. Oh my god. See, that's the power of the smart disc. Without a doubt. Crazy. Crazy damage. I'm going to try and help him out here. But it looks like you can't help him. Oh my god, they're all completely crushed. Completely crushed. Straight away. You can see this potential of smart disc. But now to utilize it, it gets so much easier. So what you do there, if you actually chuck the smart disc, and you chuck it for a turn, when you have max speed, it's pretty hard. But if you're going around a place fast, and then you slow down, it's easy to turn around. So keep that in mind, but you can still get stuck to services if you've got ping, or any type of lag. Usually if you can find service with full MS, or full ping, you're pretty much in the best situation to use any type of range equipment or smart disc. But if you can't, you can still make it possible even underneath 100 ping. 
Anything more than that becomes kind of hard. Unless you're really close by them. So the AIs, they were moving down there kind of weird. And this scout player is running around the map somehow. No one the enemy team has quit. So they will be going for a reinforcement very, very soon. In this case, I see this guy right over here. <laughs> Hit the piggy. <laughs> we can just monitor him. And pretty much utilize Smartis if we wanted to. The Smartis is quite good overall. Because if you know where the actual team's hiding, you can actually scout around and try and find out where they're going. Just by using the Smartis, as you can see. And all we can do is just leave it there. And we'll get stuck on that surface there. So let's go down there. And the respawn is down there. What they're going for, the resupply. Wait, the respawn isn't here. He just tripped us out. I thought the respawn was there, but it might not be. It's not here too. It's towards Temple. And try to help out. So Temple is like the back area. There's like another temple. Even this place is called Temple. There's another one down there. It's like a mirror image, essentially. If we go down there, we're going to set up some bear traps. Before they can actually escape from the compound, they got the respawn as well. Let's put that there. The play's over here. Nice. Can we get some hits? Nice. Get the trap set up. Perfect. Let's go for the send. There you go, got it back. Go over here. We're going to send another one through. Got that, perfect. It's just one hit away. It is just one hit away. Oh, we just missed it. Got them. Got that. Is all of them down? They pretty much should be very, very low. All of them. All dead. <laughs> one of them died out. It's alright, we'll make this work. How's he know? How do you see me? Crazy. He's got crazy eyes. Let's go up here. We're going to heal up. Perfect. You're back to full HP. But the smartest allows you to pretty much stay away or in the trees on higher ledges and pretty much do damage from afar and possibly get some collateral damage as well. So there's many opportunities to actually utilize this, which makes it super cool. I don't know how they're seeing me. I just That's the one thing that's tripped me out. Oh, what? <laughs> Let's see this back towards us. Perfect. There you see the return, I believe. There you go. Got it. One hit. You can actually go into a slam into this. Just missed it. <laughs> Too cocky now, please. Too cocky. Let's see this through. Watching, watching. Just missed it. It's been hit. We know there's play down here. Oh my god, the frame rate drop. Actually insane. Got him. You left the wrong one alive. Easy, easy. I've got you. He saw me. No. I'm gonna crouch right here. We're gonna watch him. He did get revived, didn't he? Oh, they only hit him on the way back. Such a weird position, but we're trying this work. Oh my god, the lag drop, the lag, the lag! <laughs> it lags when I'm close by to them. Okay, that made no sense whatsoever why that didn't work. Okay, let's keep going. But the smartest can be hit and miss. It just depends on your sensitivity, how comfortable you are with utilizing it. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm trying to send it. Okay, pick up the other one soon. Got that one. In some way, we can use melee damage as well. The smartest ha does have melee damage. Is it the best option? Most likely not. But it's there. It's part of the game. Now let's try to jump away with our second wind. We also have impatient on this build, which will make our second wind reduction on the actual cooldown, a lot less. So let's go over here. Reset. Perfect. Completely safe. There's no way they can make it here. Unless they chuck a whole bunch of nades and Hail Marys and pretty much hope for it to actually destroy me. Very low chance. Very low chance. There's still one member down, which I'm very happy about. We got piggies from earlier, which we could contest as well. Let's get this. Face and IP. Perfect. I'm trying to highlight much of the smartest gameplay aspect so you guys can actually learn as we go. I feel like I might have to drop my settings in the future when it comes to graphics and such when playing with the smart disc. Because the smart disc gets a little bit laggy, even with uh, 60 ping to 100. So it's just quite crazy. So let's find these enemies. They're down there, in the back of the compound. 
There's no more AIs here, so we can't actually respawn those. But we can get towards this section. And possibly send this through. Go for some hits. Pretty much hit every one of them. Could have got the other one if that barrier wasn't there. I didn't never notice that box. Nice. Pick this up. Perfect. I spent my life hunting you kind. And there's nothing special about you. I can get up on my <laughs> That quote. That was like full intense moments. So we see the play there with the stealth kill. Double stealth kill. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. So watch out for that. We're going to hit Dutch. If I can. There you go. Got it. The smoke and my jumps not working at the same time. Smart disc one. Another smart disc. Perfect. Stealth kills are here. I didn't even get that stealth kill even when I went for it. I was hoping I would get it, but nah. Nothing happened. So we're sending this through. I won't kill that player. I'll kill this guy. The Dutch player. Does he know? Nearly enough damage. So you have many options. To be super aggressive, but we can use these. Hopefully we're safe here. Can we send this through here? Yeah, perfect. Nice hit. Should be very, very low. Does he know? <laughs> yeah, no clue. Oh, no. Let's pick up our smart disc so we don't lose them. Found him. Wait, who's hitting me? I'm glitched. I'm glitched. Is this another bug? I feel like I'm glitched. Sometimes I get DDoS or some weird issue happens when I'm actually super far away from the position that I die. It's been happening too often on Predator. So I'll be very, very careful here. Let's heal up. Back to full HP. And we also have our second win back as well, which is perfect for us. So in case that we do get shot down by any players, we'd actually die. But the smartest potential is so high. It is so much fun to utilize. And it only gets better and better when you have low ping. Like the amount of collaterals, the amount of impact you can do with the smart disc overall from a range aspects is quite extraordinary. Followed up by this build using the Elder Stalker variant. Our smart disc does some crazy damage. If we don't kill the smart disc, we just orientate back to our actual plasma caster and we can one shot from there as well. Or we'll finish them off. So it's really good. Really, really good. Found me, nice. Nice again. Got him. Nice hits, nice hits. Finish him off. What the hell? <laughs> no, how is he surviving? This melee weapon is bad. I've been highlighting it, but it's bad. <laughs> He's gonna come over here. That's a stealth kill there. I'm gonna go down to these piggies over here. There has to be piggies over here. There isn't. I'll be very, very surprised. And there actually isn't. Okay. We've got stealth kills here. Which I could actually go for one. As I go for meds. And they split off. Got it. Perfect stealth kill. There we go. Beautiful. And there's some guy down here. Is that enough? That isn't enough. But this should be enough. There you go. Not enough. Actually not enough. He survived. Oh, no. He healed up. He's peeing my location. Got hit. Perfect. It's about how you move with it. All about how you move. If you're able to move them quite well, it worked really, really well. Nice. Nice. Crazy damage output. Now we should just end it. Should we just end it? I feel like we just end it. Watching, watching, watching. Three, two, one. Send. No. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. We need to end. We need to end. We need to end. Like right now. Got it? Perfect. Self-kill animation too? Perfect. And the last guy. There we go. The power of the smart disc is crazy. Hopefully that helps out with how to understand how to utilize the smart disc as the Praetor in Praetor Huntergrounds. Press a guide on it and highlight the potential of the weapon overall when it comes to your own gameplays in the future as the Praetor. Hopefully that makes it super easy. Pretty much you need to find the right settings for your sensitivity when it comes to just movement with the smart disc overall. And alongside that, have your button inverted on, not off. Or then your actual sensitivity when you look up and down, it'll be the other way around, not the same as up is up, it'll be up is down, which is so annoying to deal with. Make sure you fix that in order to play with a smart disc on your Praetor. But that was us playing that certain build, doing this guide on it. Tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. And as always, mates, it is a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we go through this, and I'll catch you mates next time. Bye. Road to 200k subscribers. Let's get it, mates.